hello everyone, and welcome to a cosy Destiny 1 package opening. I've been playing Destiny 1 all week, and I'm, I'm after a dose of nostalgia today, handing in these beautiful Quartermaster bounties. If you're new around here and don't know what's going on, let me explain to you. First of all though, let me just tell you something. Out of all the people who watch my videos, 65% of you are not subscribed. If you're one of those people who are not subscribed but still watch my videos, then please do tell me how I can earn your subscription. I'm totally all for hearing why I suck or something I'm doing wrong. Let me know. I'm already blown away that we are over 60,000 subscribers strong now. It honestly, it's surreal to me, so thank you so much. If you like these Destiny 1 videos or Destiny 2 videos, then subscribe if you're new. So today what we're doing is quite simple. As you can see, I'm at the tower. I see a friend of New Monarchy right there. I appreciate you. But check this out. I'm rocking the proper exotic Titan mark. New Monarchy all the way. That's what I say. Anyway, we'll head down these stairs and obviously Shax is right there. But across from him is the Crucible Quartermaster. Now he gives bounties. Gives out bounties that are so simple. Get 50 kills of auto rifles. Get 50 kills of hand cannons. 25 kills of special weapons. 15 with heavy weapons. It's so easy. And from these bounties, you can get... Iron Banner weapons, obviously you can't play Iron Banner right now, so you can't, this is the only way you can have access to those weapons. You can get Trials of Osiris weapons, obviously not adept, but still, once again, the only way to get Trials weapons from these bounties. And of course your regular Crucible weapons, random rolls, all sorts of stuff. On top of that, Shax gives out a bounty to complete the game mode that's rotating for the week, so this week, or the week I did these, was Control. This bounty has a chance to drop you all sorts of stuff, from exotics, rare Trials emblems, a bunch of stuff once again. So we, all in all, the loot pool that we have from all of these bounties is crazy. Now, now, when I'm getting these bounties done in Crucible, one thing that often happens is the wait time between matches, depending on what time of the day you're playing. Could be 5 minutes, could be 30. And see, that's when Netflix comes into play. And unfortunately, I'm in the UK, so I don't get to see all the movies and selections of shows, for example, that the USA has. But actually, yes I do. I absolutely just lied to you. Thanks to NordVPN who are sponsoring this video, I can access USA Netflix, any country's Netflix catalogue of movies and shows, any shows or videos online that are country restricted, you can access easily. In fact, whenever you're browsing the internet in general, one of the best things you can do for yourself is to keep your data secure and protected, especially with Nord's double data encryption with a click of a button. Whether you're out and about and connecting to public Wi-Fi's all the time that aren't secure, to just simply being at home and tweeting about how much you hate cursed thrall, you want to be secure and keep your privacy and online anonymity. And you can have exactly that with, like I said, a click of a button. And like I said personally for me, it's great having the freedom to watch what I want on Netflix without a country restriction, because sometimes those wait times between matches they they get kind of lengthy <laughs> with over 5,000 servers in 59 countries no data logging and a 30-day money-back guarantee if you decide it's not for you it, it was a pretty easy choice for me and if you use my link in the description and pin comment nordvpn forward slash heli you can get yourself 68% Nice. 68% off making it only $3.71 a month, plus a free additional month using my link or coupon code. Thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Let's open some bounties. So I've gone ahead and done about roughly about two weeks worth of bounties on all characters, so eight on each character. Eight times three, 24. Check out that mathematics skill right there. Like I said, if you're looking for a reason to subscribe, Come on. So what we do in these videos is we just hand in these bounties, see if we get any cool trials weapons, iron banner weapons. It's a whole throwback nostalgia vibe, you know. Simple stuff. And I've been making these package openings for a couple of years now. I usually spend about a week on the game doing all the bounties on all characters, bumping into so many of you guys in Crucible. The amount of clips I have are just randomly dancing or being recognized. The, the messages I get on Xbox. I've seen every single one of your messages. I appreciate it very much. You're all amazingly wonderful people. Amazingly wonderful. It, you know what I mean. Even Bart Simpson over here. Adding in these bounties and maybe at the end we'll go into Crucible with some fun weapons or awful weapons and see how we do. Because why not? See, this guy's got the right idea. He's at the quartermaster. He's picking up his bounties. Is that Future Walker? Oh, never mind. Ugh. And if you play Destiny 2 but not play Destiny 1, maybe you're a PC player, you can get a little glimpse into the window of Destiny 1 nostalgia and how amazing some of these weapons are. Are, or maybe not amazing, De depending on my luck. We're gonna go to Shaq's one first to see what we get. And we get the nothing manacles. It's been a minute since I've seen those. I mean, so right away we got an exotic. Intellect and discipline roll as well. Oh, lovely. This gauntlet has a scatter charge, which enables tracking for scatter grenades and also gives you another grenade charge. Scatter grenades for me have always been hit and miss. It, I, I suck with them. I don't know how you suck with them, but I just don't do well. <laughs> I have to say, if you've been against me on Destiny 1, you'd know if I'm on my Warlock that I'm I'm that sort of person sometimes with the sticky grenades. I, I'm very sorry. Destiny 1 Crucible, I'm not the same as Destiny 2. It's a whole different realm. Some of the moves I make, I, I get slaughtered. I suck. <laughs> Some of the battles that I end up in, honestly, it's this... Honestly, you can't make it up. Bonus grenade energy on melee hits as well. I mean, so far so good. Maybe we'll end up on the Warlock. Who knows? We also got a blue engram. Am I the only one who says blue engram instead of encrypted engram? Let's hand that in for the incredible loot this will drop us. What is this person doing? <laughs> Dramatic build up. The, the noise. It gets louder and louder. You can't even hear my voice. This is what's going to happen when we hand this in. 
Honestly, I regret everything. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the legendary version to see if we get an icebreaker. Nope. Well, that didn't work. I'm getting way too distracted right now. I just, <laughs> I need to hand in these bounties and get on with it. Auto rifles. Now, can we get the Doctrine of Passing? No, we can't. We get the worst auto rifle to exist. It's a real deal breaker for me, guys. Am I right? <laughs> I'm, oh. Lingering Song. Oh, it's a very heavy hitting hand cannon. I need to use it more, especially if it has luck in the chamber in it, because I know that roll can have that. Anton's rule again, that's our second one already today. Sniper rifles, I think the best is the winged word. There's also another trials one, I forget the name of it. You know, I was hoping it'll just give me that one I forgot the name of, but no, we got the Event Horizon. And once again, a very hard hitting sniper rifle. Heavy weapons. The Silver Dread, okay, that is one of the best machine guns for Crucible, hands down. Also, we have shotguns and pulse rifles. Let's go shotgun, Matador, can we get a single trials weapon? Pulse rifle, come on. Spare change, that's not even Iron Banner, it's just nothing. So far on the Titan, we have not got that lucky. Minus for the Warlock, for the Gauntlets, but that's, that's about it. The Spare Change, Deal Breaker, The Lingering Song, Anton's Rule times 2, Event Horizon, Matador, and lastly we got the Silver Dread. Oh, the Spare Change, I already see Partial Refund, I, I'm not a fan. Before I even properly paid attention to perks, I used to think Partial Refund was decent on hand cannons for Crucible. Can you figure that one out? I, I can't. Last off, full, perfect balance. I mean, these perks aren't bad at all. Is this Partial Refund? Nah. And, and honestly, the point that Destiny 1 is at, I'm after god rolls only. We can't have half good rolls. Get in the bin. The deal breaker, I mean, honestly. Focus fire, hot swap, I mean, okay. It's it's not bad. If you could shade this weapon, I'd immediately be much more of a fan. I don't know if this is the sort of auto rifle that focus fire just ruins. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look horrible. It's definitely not the worst roll. Definitely not. The lingering song. Now, look at this spiky thing. We have third eye, zen moment, snapshot, high caliber rounds, small bore, and old frame. Iron lordly sights, iron wars. See, I don't know these sights. I'm just used to the true sights, the sure shots. Better say not the best of rolls. So we've got two of the Anton's rule sidearm. This one has range finder, fitted stock, casket mag, mulligan, and army of one. Obviously, mulligan not really not really considering that here we'll go for army of one but that's not bad at all definitely not the worst that's the recurring three words you're gonna hear that's four words the other one we have is hidden hand snapshot high caliber rounds zen moment and cascade cascade can just go away bear in mind when i say that i'm thinking strictly crucible event horizon now look at that security camera scope firefly explosive rounds snapshot grenadier and spray and play see to the untrained eye which is me this looks like a fun PvE sniper, minus that horrible scope. I mean, one of these maybe. Now, I'm not going to delete any of these in case, just in case, I miss out on a god roll and one of you comments saying, Dude, it's 621, you missed a god roll, man. I can't be upsetting Lucas from Philadelphia. I, I can't do that. Now, my opinion on shotguns generally sucks. I usually get things wrong or just say something completely just false. So let's try to carefully assess this. Now, shotgun people, hear me out. Let's check this out together. You can tell me if I'm an absolute idiot. Rangefinder, a, you know, good. Hammer forged, rifled barrel. Small bullet, all all range related stuff. I think the best one will be rifle barrel here because who cares about reload speed with shotguns, right? And lastly, full auto. Now, full auto, I have no idea. The Matador is really quite a slow and chunky boy. For the barrels, we have smart drift control, CQB ballistics, and soft ballistics. Okay. Now, I don't know. I Definitely not smart drift. I feel like most people end up with a Matador anyway. And it's not the hardest weapon to get in a good roll, so, you know, it's fine. Silver Dread Iron Banner Machine Gun. Hidden Hand, Army of One, Speed Reload, Snapshot, Small Bore, and Old Frame. These are also Aggressive Ballistics, Acroize Ballistics, and Linear Compensator. I think that's pretty fair. I think I would prefer Crowd Control on this. Oh, so the pink person sneaking around before was this person. Jager TTV? J Jager? Jager? I suck. Thank you very much. I know you're in your menu, but... Hello, maybe you'll see this video. So far in terms of roles, we're not doing that bad. I'm gonna switch to my next character and have another eight bounties ready to go. Let's go. Whether we wanted it or not. Nah, just kidding, we're on Venus this time. Honestly, I miss Venus so much. It's such a cool place. Not literally, that's it's it's boiling. Got a comfy spot sitting in the acid rain. Let's hand in these bounties. Just go trying. You can't go in there, mate. It's closed. What? 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 He's trying, bless him. He's really determined. No, you can't go off there. That's a... <laughs> what? Did you learn your lesson? The Shax one has given us some good luck, so we're gonna go with that one again. Ill Will. I, I, to be fair, I've not seen it in a long while. See, I made a video about this Ill Will ages ago. I think I still have the roll for that video I made. I do! Check this out. I still have the same weapon. See, this is my favourite roll ever. It's got luck in the chamber, but with that impact, the two taps you could get. I'm probably forgetting a detail here, but you could one-shot people with this, and it was amazing. We've got luck in the chamber, brace, fr brace frame? Why? Okay, I don't know what I was thinking there, but it's still. Maybe I was thinking the lower the magazine, the higher chance that luck in the chamber would proc, maybe? Is that a thing? Oh, I don't know. It's been ages. It's been years. Anyway, the one we got this time, we have a third eye, 
extended mag, reinforced barrel, high caliber rounds and rangefinder. Like, pretty much almost the same as the previous one I just showed, but without luck in the chamber. It's it's not terrible. Same thing again. One by one, we're going to go through this. Auto rifle. Right. Okay, that I've not seen in a while. The antipodal hindsight. Sidearm. Blinding blaze. Okay. It's a tongue twister. I always say blinding bays or bla Just all wrong. Sniper rifle. The Tao Hui Hu Jia I can't say it. After time, I can barely string English together. I can't pronounce stuff like that. Heavy weapons. Still Oracle. Solid. Solid rocket launcher. The Ill Will again? What? Am I destined to use an Ill Will today? Pulse rifle. B29 party favor. And lastly, the shotgun. Binary Dawn, we have a Trolls weapon. It's official. I tell you what, that green. It's, I don't like that green. We have glass half full. We have lightweight, old frame, small bore, and rangefinder. It's not a bad roll at all, actually. Fire magazine with the range and stability, with the range finder, with the glass half full. That's not bad at all. Ill will, can we get a god roll? I see triple tap. That, that's a no. That's a no to that question. Third eye, hammer forged, explosive rounds, rifle barrel, and triple tap, like I just said. We have true sight, sure shot, and quick draw. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, it's the it's the triple tap. I may go ahead and just use my existing ill will. So fun to use that thing. I, just, I love it so much. We have the party favor pulse rifle. Perks honestly looking good. We have head seeker, perfect balance, rifle barrel, rodeo, and life support. I mean, we have a ridiculous amount of stability here. I think what's happened here is Destiny 2 has made me so used to pulse rifles with 40 50 magazine size and then obviously destiny one it's like 20 maybe 30. we have the peach blossom spring i think that's what this thing is called it translated mulligan skip rounds snapshot reinforced barrel and partial roof and whoa do you know what this looks like legendary marks finding blaze sidearm not uses that much rangefinder cascade quick draw feather mag speed reload and injection mold not the very best of rolls here. It's kind of hard to get a bad rolled sidearm because even if you have a sidearm with like no perks on it, it's still a sidearm. It still hits pretty hard, especially on this game. Now listen, I say this every video and I'm going to say it again. For those seasoned Destiny 1 people, I'm reading out the perks because some people may not have played Destiny 1. Chill. First of all, I think you'd agree, very cool looking shotgun. We have life support, flared magwell, brace frame, Field Scout and Rangefinder. I hate these three perks. Accurized Ballistics, Field Choke, and Linear Compensator. It do be looking cool though. And lastly, the Steel Oracle. We have Tracking, obviously very good. Quick Draw, Flared Magwell, Snapshot, and Army of Onica. The rest of it, it just, it started off well and just disastrous. This time we got a Trials Weapon, so happy days. Having said that though, we still have one more character to go through, so let's go. First of all though, I have some business to attend to. I've got a Golden Gun and I'm ready to- This is not Golden Gun, I suck. Hello Rubber Vance, can you make sure all these bounties just give me Trolls weapons? That, that'll be great. Starting with the Shax one, I swear, if I get an ill will again... Okay, we got a hopscotch. Now that we have Rubber Vance's blessing, I think three of these seven bounties is going to be a Trolls weapon. It's guaranteed. Surely, this is the way to go. Auto Rifle. Unbent Tree, that's, that's Iron Banner. Sidearm. Anton's Rule, that's just, that's just Crucible. A Sniper Rifle, Event Horizon, that's just once again Crucible. Heavy Weapons, Silver Dread, that's Iron Banner. Hand Cannon. The Revelator. What is that? Is that Iron Banner? I vaguely remember that. I don't have it right now. So that's, you know, that's technically new to me again. Pulse Rifle. Spare Change. And with the Proud Spot. Okay, well, I just got scammed by Brother Vance. I hope you're using NordVPN on that tablet. So the Revelator was introduced in the House of Wolves expansion. Okay. I definitely do recognize it. Perks we have here is Grenadier, Hammer Forged, Casket Mag, Old Frame, and Surround. It's a, honestly, not that great at all. We've got the Unbent Tree, one of my favorite SMGs before SMGs were a thing. Certainly feels like one anyway. Glass Half Full, Hip Fire, Snapshot, Casket Mag, Hammer Forge, and Handley Stock. A bunch of stability here. Bunch of stability and also Glass Half Full with the Snapshot going as well, or more magazine size. Interesting. Not bad at all. And look at the impact. This is literally one. Spare change now. I don't really have a good history with this weapon. Spray and play, lightweight, hand laid stock, injection mold, and secret round. Secret round. I've, I've never seen anyone seriously use secret round in my life. Well, that's just on you, bro. This is top tier. Do you reckon, mate? I disagree. Hopscotch Pilgrim, it's hard to get a bad roll with this weapon. Full auto, speed reload, hand laid stock, injection mold, and counterbalance. Look at this. Even with hand laid stock there alone, we have max stability. Such an ease of use pulse rifle, it's great. I think the fourth or fifth Anton's roll we have today, we have hot swap, 
Fitted Stock, Lightweight, Outlaw, and Army of One. Not horrible, but also not the best. The Iron Banner Shotgun, the Proud Spire. We have Performance Bonus, Rangefinder, Snapshot, Feather Mag, Hammer Forge, and Hand Laid Stock. For the sights, we have Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, and Field Choke. See, I always thought Performance Bonus with a Shotgun sounds quite usable, but I feel like Rangefinder is maybe too good to just pass up on and replace with it. Either way, though, I mean, Snapshot as well and Hammer Forge, it's not bad. Okay, Event Horizon. Hidden Hand, very good for sniper rifles, obviously. Quick Draw and Snapshot. Now, if we could have Hidden Hand and also Quick Draw and Snapshot just as the three, that would be great. Quick Draw, Snapshot, Grenadier, and Spray and Play. For the scopes, we have Hawkeye, Short Gaze, and Taxis. Such a big fan of Short Gaze. I suck at sniping, but even then, it's it's really satisfying to use. And lastly, we have the Silver Dread. Spray and Play, Life Support, Quick Draw, Snapshot, Small Bore, and Reinforced Power. No. I think the previous roll we just got was much better than this one. Well, overall, I think our experience with our packages this week have been... Rather mixed, I think it's fair to say. We've got some good rolls here and there. We've got an exotic, we've got a Trials weapon as well, Iron Banner weapons. Gonna hop on my Titan now. I've got a pretty good idea of what loadout to use for today. Two hours later. Okay, check this out. Obviously, we're on the Titan. We have the Helm of Saint, which means we're using Bubble. We've got the Max Intellect. We've got the Ill Will. Luck in the Chamber Roll, which will be a blast. A new Binary Dawn Trials shotgun. Absolutely sucker shotgun, so this will be great. And the Galahorn, because who doesn't love the lovely Gajalahorn? But the idea here is I'm just going to use the Bubble, Weapons of Light, and use, hopefully, the Luck in the Chamber kicking in, so maybe we can one-shot someone. Who knows? Ooh, a beautiful map. Oh, look at this shotgun. How chunky is this thing? Now the hope is, Weapons of Light plus the Luck in the Chamber procking will make a, at least a two hit, a satisfying two hit. I don't know if that's asking for a lot, I guess we'll see. Hello, oh. You know I said I'm awful at shotgun and I, I wasn't lying. Hello. Hello, oh wow, another one. You notice how I'm doing the thing of like shooting then punching immediately. How Destiny 1 reminiscent is that? Okay, we have the bubble, don't know how this is gonna work. Might be a disaster, probably will be a disaster. That's okay though. God, the super coming. Surprise! <laughs> Perfect. This is going to be the best timing or the worst timing. The results are in. I suck. <laughs> another super taken out. There's another bubble over there. Oh, that two hit. No, you don't. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no, no, you don't. Thank you very much, teammate. I appreciate it. That guy just missed two rockets at my feet. What? How? <laughs> How does that work then? Okay, we got the bubble. Yes, two, it's crispy two tap, you see? Okay, we need more. We don't got a lot of time. What? What just... What just happened? I just dropped dead. What? Did I trip over? How did I just... What? Can we get an action replay of that, please? How did I die? I was so excited about it. get another two tap and stuff, you know? But no, I, I tripped over a pebble of some sort. It's just like a death spot or something. It, what, what happened? There needs to be an, an open case investigation. I am both appalled and slightly amused. Well, I hope this match I don't just spontaneously combust, but hey, we'll see. Oh, I missed the headshot. Would have been a two tap again. The five magazine side is really holding me back here. <laughs> it's so fun though. When it works, it's great. Oh, here we go. Check this out. Okay, please don't check that out. D teammate, uh, uh, teammate, not gonna lie, I think your buttocks just got me killed. Check this out, people at the B flag. You don't even see my bubbles around the corner. Then suddenly I come out. Could have been a two hit. I'm waiting still. Really? <laughs> How many two taps can I ruin? This guy's using the Mipha class, I appreciate him massively. Oh, that, that was 166. Can we get one more? Yes, we can. <laughs> Every time I shoot even one or two bullets, it's worth just reloading again. <laughs> it's just not exactly the most conventional thing ever. Here we go. Bubble again. That's one. Yes, it's two. <laughs> I love it so much. Love it so much. Dip in and out again. We're on our way back out the same place. Probably not this go the same this time. Never mind. Yes, it is. Another one. Come on. Where are the people? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Two doubles back to back. This is why I kept this handgun in ages ago. It's just so fun. Consistently fun. I'm... Yep. I have a third bubble of the game. I'm, I'm not used to this at all. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> 
One tap, guys. Am I right? Beautiful. There we go. The best around. Excellent. Just goes to show this hand cannon is timeless, quite literally. 28 and 12, I'm happy with that. We'll get a moat of light for our trouble as well. Thanks. Well, as always, Destiny 1 never disappoints. <laughs> And we've got some cool weapons that I've not seen in years. Explored some places that we've not been to in a long time. We even tripped over nothing and died. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave a like on the video. It really does mean a lot to me. And also subscribe if you are new around here. The support on these Destiny 1 videos is always absolutely amazing. Thank you to each and every one of you who keeps it going and likes to see some good old nostalgia content. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And avoid tripping up and dying. <laughs>